Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to give you a quick introduction to the Stripe payments platform. So what is Stripe? Stripe is an online payment service that allows you to accept credit card payments in your website and this includes one-time charges and recurring charges as well. Let's head over here to stripe.com. Let's now talk about how Stripe works in general. How do online payments work? So the user is going to enter its credit card either in a form developed by yourself and installed in your own website or via some of the several solutions that Stripe has available to us, such as, for example, the Stripe checkout solution. In any solution that gets chosen, what is going to happen is that the credit card details are sent directly to the Stripe servers, so they never reach your website and they never need to be stored in your database. So this way, you are sure that if someone compromises your database, they would not get the credit card details of your customers. Only Stripe has the exact credit card number, expiration date, etc. that allow anyone in possession of the card to do a purchase online if no further user identification is needed. Now, what will Stripe do with the credit card details? Stripe is going to store those details in a secure database and it's going to give back to our website or to one of its third-party solutions such as Stripe Checkout a temporary replacement for the card and this is known as a Stripe token. So a Stripe token is a one-time usage token that replaces the credit card information. So this is a JavaScript object that corresponds to a token and you can see here that we have a token ID with this format. So this is an example of a Stripe token that temporarily replaces a card. As you can see, we cannot get back the credit card details from the token. The credit card details are stored separately on the Stripe servers. So what will then our website or a solution like Stripe Checkout do with this token? We are going to take the token and we are going to send it back to the Stripe servers, this time adding the information that we want to do a purchase with this credit card corresponding to this token and we want to do a purchase of this value for this particular product. Now this request that gets sent to the Stripe servers containing the token, the amount and the product being purchased needs to be signed by our website with a special private key that only we know. The Stripe server is then going to confirm the validity of the token, check that it's indeed associated to a valid user credit card, and then the Stripe server is going to perform the actual payment. So the Stripe server is going to contact the credit card company to which the card is associated, and it's going to perform via their third-party proprietary APIs the transaction. So in the end, Stripe is an intermediary between our website and a credit card company, making it very easy to perform online payments in a secure way. Our website never needs to store the end user credit card details, which is great because that's exactly the type of information that we don't want to store in our database. We don't want to run into the risk of losing potentially thousands of credit cards with all the legal implications that that would bring along. Now, in order to integrate payments in our website, we have different options. In this course, we are going to present what is, in our opinion, the best option for integrating payments in your website, which is going to be the Stripe Checkout solution. We are going to give you an introduction to Stripe Checkout in the next lesson.